All right, so we're here for another fasting, day one in the month of May. Now, this month is perfectly just right, good timing, because we are going into the summer in that, what's the purpose? The summer body, right? Now, in South Florida, it already feels like the summer majority of the time around the year, so it is what it is. But I definitely want to bring up that there is a certain type of energy that still lingers around, which is called domestic violence, where everything may seem fine, relationships are seem fine, but behind the scene is something else. Behind the scene is like someone doesn't know how to speak up on their relationship, don't know who to talk to. And things become very uh, radical that the person's life is over. One minute they're here, next minute they're gone. So how can we better our communication as human beings to say, hey, this is what I'm going through. I may need some help. And we're always trying to find out how can we ask for help. But it's, it's really, I can't say it's really that simple, but it's that short and straight to the point. I'm going through this. I may need some help, some kind of advice, someone that could be able to listen to your situation, something, okay? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up as there's celebrations going on, uh, people living their best life, behind, I'll say behind the scene or what they call low vibration, where someone is not doing okay. And they're try, they try so many different ways that they're not seeing the next five steps ahead. They're not seeing the next 10 steps ahead. So with that being said, if they're running out of options, they feel like, well, why am I living? Why am I even here? So this is a serious matter, okay? Um, one of the things I'm uh, going to on the voiceover today while I'm working out is so immortal. Uh, the topic is the topic is is what nice guys just don't understand part two by soul and motor okay now the reason why I'm kicking off May with soul and voice or YouTube videos you can check his channel out is that the brother definitely speaks some great information on being accountable being responsible know thyself and let's be on this vision so then us fellas could take lead as most women want. Women want the fella to take lead so we know what it is, what's our purpose here. Now, by taking lead it comes with a lot of responsibilities. Uh, I can't say it's, I, I don't know if it's supervision is the word I wanna say, but it's just a lot of self-awareness, self-love. Um, understanding your triggers. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's my list right now, just doing it live right here. Um, understanding rejections, you know? So, once again, it's just a matter of that when a man could be able to stand up on his two feet, be able to hold it down for what's best for him, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a village of people following his lead, okay? And with good morals, good principles really okay whatever that means to you I know for me I have to move a certain way so then when I receive a type of gift when I receive what I've been actually working hard for it comes very I, I receive it with open arms I'm not really closed off okay I'm gonna leave it vague because whatever that means might whatever it means for me might mean different for you all right so we're going, out, we're going into May, another 21 day fasting. The exercise is gonna be different. Um, we still gonna do the single leg. We adding up the reps, 30 reps for everything. Uh, we're doing the single leg squat, not a squat, uh, the lunge, sorry. The single leg lunge, we're doing 30 squats. We, I'm gonna do um, what's called the Asian squat or the Adio, if I pronounce it correctly, the Ado, 
um, portal squat okay there's a few channels on the whole idea Asian squat or if I'm pronouncing it correctly uh, auto squat ideal portal squat where you just sit down or you squat and it's like you got you just got to hold the position all right so it's gonna be my first time doing it live I've done it behind the scene it's something uh, I definitely want to implement and get better at where I'm starting at one minute and then hopefully hey get at 10 minutes 15 minutes of doing it all right uh, check out the benefits on that uh, for the abs we're going into plank a two minute plank uh, and on the side plank we're doing a minute a minute and a half so I'm taking out the the leg raises and the twists uh, for April and March fasting I was doing the twists and we're doing the um, leg raise okay you can check out the videos on that um, I'm working out live on the spot okay so sometimes hopefully I haven't been putting out content and I'm making a lot of mistakes like this is all naturally me doing the best I can the best version of myself I'm not trying to compete with anybody out there that's super stronger than me I'm not trying to compete with no one that's super faster than me I'm just trying to be able to say hey there's someone out there like myself that's level-minded and say you know what I can push forward I can do this all right so I'm not here to compete in competition and things like that nature okay I'm not even here trying to compete with how YouTube works I'm just here passionately doing it with uh, this is my love this is my way of giving back all right so um on the upper body we doing the curl the curl with the brakes and the rip right uh, on the last one the last fasting the rip right we left at the 10 hold for 10 seconds and do the rip do the rep I would say rip do the rep for 10 reps okay so that still stays the same and then with the break we're doing the raise okay uh, as you see my shoulders going back that's me squeezing uh, my shoulder blades all right so uh, that's just taking your shoulder back squeeze it and then raising it okay um, besides that disclaimer if you know people feel like man is this man been certified no, I'm not a certified trainer. I used to play football back in my time in high school and college. And uh, I just have muscle memory when it comes to working out. I enjoy working out. So no, I'm not a certified trainer. You're working out on your own terms if you are working out. All right. My goal is in my 30s is not to strain a muscle. You know, I'm really working out just to do the best I can. If I do feel that strain coming, I just take a break. One of the things I do want to add very passionately is that on day one in May, 11 minutes and 58 seconds on the jog and run. I didn't even walk, just straight jog, and I pretty much did a nice run at the end. Came in at 11 and 11 and 58 seconds. In my mind, I'm let in my mind I'm letting my body know, my subconscious know that hey. I can push for that 11 minutes okay so before I did three 12s three 12 twelve minute runs where um, the first one was 12 and the other one was 12 minutes and a few seconds and I finished off with 12 minutes and a few seconds if you've been following the videos but off the bat on day one 11 minute and 58 seconds um, I definitely wanted it today okay so I had that kind of attitude. So let's get started. Enough of my yapping, that was a big intro, but I just wanted to deliver what I needed to say on um, all aspects, okay? So let's get started, all right? At ease, it's your boy Soul Immortal. Several months ago, I made a video on my other channel called What Nice Guys Just Don't Understand. And in that video, I brought up three primary topics 
where, where nice guys just seem to drop the ball, you know, just, just areas they have no understanding on, on why certain men get, get women, right? Now, over the last few months, that video has gained over five or 600,000 views, and a lot of guys had a lot of questions. Now, I, I take that, and I also look at the fact that we brought up uh, videos recently about, you know, women in degrees. We've talked about uh, women not choosing good men, right? So I combine those two, two issues, right? And I figured that it's, it's time for a part two. Because, because at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter, you know, about the women's degrees. It doesn't matter how successful a man is. A woman is not going to be attracted to a nice guy. So, what nice guys just don't understand, part two. Let's talk about it. Her spot on the totem pole. Now, what do I mean by this? When it comes to manhood, guys, th there's a hierarchy, right? And that hierarchy is God, self, and then everybody else, which means your family, your kids, your wife, whoever, you know, th that's the hierarchy, guys. And in no point in time is that hierarchy supposed to be broken. Now, now, I don't care how much, you know, your wife or your girl whines about being, you know, whines about, you know, attention and affection and want to be number one on your priority list. At no point in time does that woman really want to be there. But because as soon as you do, as soon as you make that woman priority, everything changes. Now, I made a video, I made a video several weeks ago. Say, uh, called uh, Why a Man Should Never Fall in Love with a Woman. And, and, and that video was pretty much split down the middle. Some people, a lot of red pill guys, fully understood what I was talking about. But some guys and, and several women were saying, oh, well, what, you know, you're not supposed to love them. This is what's wrong with men. And this is... But there were some women that fully understood what I was saying. And really, the only thing I was talking about was this hierarchy. You know, you know, when I talked about man falling in love with a woman, that, that was specifically just saying that men, you know, are putting women above self, above God, and are putting her on, on a pedestal. Once a man does that, everything goes to hell. And that, that's what a lot of nice guys just don't understand. So you, you get these guys that are, you know, that they'll get these women and automatically a man goes into, you know, I have to please her mode. You know, I have to please her to keep her. And, and this is where they drop the ball, you know. You know, I talked about, uh, uh, you know, buying the flowers and doing nice, nice things. There's a balance with that. At no point in time did I say that a man is not supposed to love a woman. Matter of fact, I said that a man should, should not only love a woman, he should provide for and protect that woman. I said, but at no point in time should the hierarchy be broken. And that's all I was saying. And you nice guys, you just don't understand that. Again, you, you get with these women and, you, and you're so, your mindset is so in, in, in a frame that you're scared to lose a woman that, that, that you put on a pedestal and you just continuously drop the ball. See, your nice guy and your red pill man go into a relationship with completely different mindsets, right? Your nice guy, he, he approaches women and he puts women on a pedestal. You know, to the to, to nice guy, you know, women are holier than thou. And, and what he's doing is putting everything in life on hold just to please this woman, you know? You know and, and this is why, for one, he never gets the woman, and two, why he never succeeds and gets ahead in life. Whereas the red pill man, he is fully aware of the hierarchy, right? He is fully aware that, that keeping the structure is vital. Yes, the red pill man is, 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 you know, finds women attractive and sexy. Yes, the man you know, can appreciate spending quality time with the 5% woman. But in no point in time is, is he willing to put, to put that woman over God. At no point in time is he willing to put that woman over self, not just self, and entertaining his goals. 
And, and that's one of the things that nice guys just don't understand. Because, because when women flock to these certain guys, you know, the nice guys saying, well, hey, you know, well, I do this and, and I offer this and I buy her this and I, you know, and I'll drink her bath water. And, and, in, the, and, and in the nice guy's mind, he, he thinks this is what it takes to get the woman. But what he doesn't understand is that the woman is fully aware that if she gets with this guy, you know, yeah, it may be good for a couple of days or, or a season, but she knows that if she gets with this guy, then ultimately it's going to fail. And the reason it's going to fail is because he's going to put her over everything. And if she's over everything, then, then he's not focused on protecting the family. He's not focused on getting the bag. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's important to keep the hierarchy in place. Nice guys in the bedroom. Now, just like I said in the last video, guys, there are going to be times where you need to wine and dine your woman. You know, I'm talking about rose petals in the bathtub. I'm talking about massages. I'm talking about slow music, violins. You know, the whole nine and some slow, passionate love making to your woman. That's vital. Every woman needs that, right? But what the nice guy doesn't understand is this. Sometimes your woman wants you in beast mode. Now, in the last video, I brought this up. And I said, I said, guys, sometimes you have to just take it. You know, sometimes your woman has to just come through the front door. You, know, you put on the kitchen counter and you just take it. And a lot of guys are like, oh, man, you talking about catching a case. Oh, you going to jail. You doing this and this. And I was like, they don't understand. But the funny part about that is that the majority of women were like, thank you. Thank you for letting them know this. Thank you for letting them know that, that, that sometimes women like it rough. And, and nice guys just don't understand that because, again, that mindset they're in, that holier than thou, that eager to please, they, they don't get that part. You know what I'm saying? This is what you have to understand, man. In, in the heat of the moment, right, you know, when, when two people, when a man and woman come together and the blood is pumping and emotions are flying, you, you have to think about what you like most of that woman, you know, the thing that, that attracts you at that moment is, you know, you have this soft woman, this, this beautiful, soft individual in front of you, right? That, that woman is, is appreciating the exact same opposite, you know what I mean? She's looking for that masculinity at that time. She's looking for that strength. She's looking for that aggression. And if at any point in time in life, that's one of the times she's wanting you to express that. So, yes, guys, sometimes, again, it, it's good. It's good to have that slow love making, passionate, you know, you know, session or whatever. But sometimes you need to be able to take it on the stairwell. You need to be able to take it, you know, you know, in the middle of the woods if y'all out hiking. That's what she wants you to do. And I guarantee you, your woman is throwing you those hints. She's throwing those hints out there that she wants that, guys, and, and you're just blowing it off. Now, again, in the bedroom, there are two separate mentalities, right, for men. The nice guy's mentality in the bedroom is what I like to call like like a starstruck mindset. You know, you know, he, he's so happy to be in this woman's presence. He's so he's so excited to be able to finally, you know, lay with this woman that he can't even control himself. Right. That, that's why a lot of these guys, you know, suck in bed. That's why a lot of these guys, you know, hit that highest point early in the game. If you know what I'm trying to say. Right. That, that's their mindset. But, but what I'm calling the red pill man, right? You know, his approach, his mindset in the bedroom is, is completely different, right? You know, to the red pill man, him, him even hitting that climax is, is low priority. You know, it's low priority. His, his mindset in the bedroom is one of dominance. You know what I'm saying? And, and to, the best way I can explain that is is, you know, like when you see a, an NBA player, you know, dunk over somebody when they hit the ground, that look on their face, that energy that, that's coming out of, their, out, out of their skin, that dominance, th that's what the red pill man feels in the bedroom. It, it's all about dominance. It's all about masculinity. It's all about being able to release his aggression. And, and, and that's a difference. 
that that that's what a lot of women are, are, are wanting that are not getting that's what a lot of women are aware that they're going to get from a nice guy that they're not going to get from a red pill man you just ain't g enough now it, it doesn't matter what we talk about as far as you know pursuing women or whatever if a woman doesn't feel safe around you, if a woman doesn't feel safe or protected with you, I'm telling you guys, there, there's going to be absolutely no play. A woman has to feel protected when she's with you. That, 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 that's, that's the end of the story, right? Now, now, when I say you ain't G enough, what I'm not talking about is, is you know, the man with the hat to the back, the pants sagging, the, the OG, triple OG mentality. That, that's not what I'm talking about, right? Now, in my last video, in, in the video uh, part one, rather, I gave an example, you know, in hindsight, it's 2020. It, it was a horrible example. It was an example where, you know, back when I was in my early 20s, I just got married, uh, and I had, I had a, some, a confrontation with, you know, some poor customer service is what I'll say. The guy didn't want to hear what I had to say, you know, so I went to the parking lot and popped trunk, you know what I mean? I'm headed back into the store, and, and a very good friend of mine, you know, pretty much tackled me, stopping me from going in, and saved, saved me several years of prison time, you know? So it, it was a poor example. But what I, was trying to, what, I, what I was trying to show in that example is a mentality. There's a phrase that dates back to Indian culture, and it goes, Today is a good day to die. Now, now before, before you think I'm talking about living life on some kind of suicide mission or kamikaze or whatever, let, let me elaborate. Today is a good day to die, right? So, so I have every intention on living to be 100 years old, right? My plans are to see my son have his own family. My plans are to, to achieve several goals in life, right? But, but... At a moment's notice, I'm willing to risk all that. I'm willing to lose all that by, by spending life in prison, by, by having to take a life, by even losing my own life before someone in my circle is, is either disrespected or violated. You know what I mean? Now, now this, this used to be something that I could cut on and off back when I was you know, a teenager or a young boy. You know, and I don't know if it, I don't know if it was, you know, two tours to the Middle East. I, I don't know if it was something that happened while I was growing up. But, but there came a point in time where I, where I could just live in this state. Like, this is the state that I stay in. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is what nice guys don't understand. I mean, you know, 911 is a nice feature to have. You know, have access to, to calling, you know, some authority in or whatever. But, but a man, a man needs to, to have no problem taking matters in his own hand. He, he needs to have no problem getting his hands dirty if he needs to. You know what I'm saying? And to be more specific, you know, you know saying today is a good day to die is it, really, it's really just, just a lighthearted way of me saying it. But what I'm really saying is the mindset that I live in is more of a, you know, I wish it would type mindset. You know what I mean? Now, for example, when I walk in a room, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a club, whether it's a, whatever it is, my mentality is that I'm the baddest man in there. That, that's just how I walk in. If I walk in and I'm hanging with other men, the men that I'm hanging with have that same mentality. I don't want to be associated with a man that doesn't feel like he's the baddest man in the room. And that's something that nice guys just don't have. They haven't tapped into that core where, you know, where they say, you know, you know, if today is the day I got to take an ass whooping, then today is the day. But, but I guarantee that the group of men that whoop my ass, that they're going to they gonna feel the wrath at least. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just a different mentality. It, it's just a different mentality. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you know nice guys... They, they just don't, they just don't stand on their belief. They just don't, they're just unaware. I don't know it. They just don't know who they are or something. It's something that, it's something inside that a man has to tap into 
that some guys just never tap into. You know what I mean? And, 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 and when it comes to nice guys, you know, it, it's simple. A woman has to feel protected. And, and if you don't have that, if you haven't tapped into that, then it just is what it is, man. In a nutshell, this is what it all comes down to. You know, in, in my opinion, nice guys are really just, they're needing permission to be men. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, when you look at them in, in all areas of life, as far as, you know, you know, the hierarchy and, and where to place, you know, their priorities. You know, when you look at men in the bedroom, when you look at, when you look at men just grasping, you know, their, their, their masculinity. It's all about men just, I guess, needing permission to be men. You know, and I don't know if that's a societal thing. I don't know where it comes from, but, but, but that's what it boils down to. You know, and, and for, our, for our younger guys that are coming up, you know, you just need to gravitate to, to like-minded men or gravitate to men, you know, that, that, that have it figured out. Because, you know, you know, the way the world is going, the way society is, the way, the way that the world is just creating blue pill men, we're, we're going in an opposite, opposite direction. So, it's your boy Soul Immortal, and I'm out. Yeah, let me be able to catch my breath. Day one. Day one. It was definitely off to a great start. Imperfection. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with imperfection. It definitely gave me a, um, some room to see what I need to work on. Getting straight to it is uh, the Asian squat. The Ido Portal squat. Um, I held it for, I think I held it for like a good minute, but I was like taking breaks in between. But I went the second round just to see where my, where my pace is at, just to hold it there without moving. Definitely right um, set. I was able to push through at a 30 second pace, making it through the 30 seconds. So, looking forward to what these 21 days with this new type of exercise um, format exercise see what that brings to the table uh, the plank hey I set the bar pretty good I set the, the bar the two minute plank I don't know what time I finished but I know I didn't finish at the two minute I set the bar at the minute and a half of the side planks I didn't even make it to the minute I made it to like at least 50 seconds 55 seconds um, the the shoulders, man, 30 reps, the curls felt good, the rip right, oh, my arms was burnt. So looking forward to doing another set of rip right, 
it's redundant, but hey, I need work in that area, you know? And the raises, I took, I was doing it in sets. So if it's not 30, if it's not 30 reps, I'm doing it in sets, which I'm okay with, okay? Um, piggybacking on today's um, voice video or audio by Soul Immortal. Um, you know, the term nice guy, uh, look, everyone in this world has an opportunity to become what they want, okay? So sometimes if the nice guy is doing all these things like he's saying, the women or most women may not show the proper respect because they like a nice, a nice guy to be a little more tough. And, you know, if there's men out there slash boys, as they call it, they're not men, they're boys, that's what most people say, that are being uh, irresponsible, doing whatever, no morals, no principles, just treating people like crap, you know, we're, we're not trying to have the whole experience uh, or the discussion of comparing different types of men from low vibration to what they call today high value men, whatever, because there is a conversation out there. Even if you do have money, doesn't mean you have morals and principles. You know, you can have money, but be watching, um, excuse my words, I'm not trying to make it a trigger, but it's out there. You know, you feel like you got all the money, so now you're looking at young women under the age of 18, you know, or you just have all this money, but you doing some illegal activities behind the scene. So, um, it all depends how an individual looks at life. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm not a certified trainer. And I'm gonna mention that when it comes to relationships, from my experience, I've been married. So some of my some of my attentions, intentions of talking through this camera, it mean it's good intentions. You know, things that I could if I could went back in time and say, okay, this is how I do things. And as men, we're not looking for our validations. We're not looking for approval. We just want to do things and see what's the results of it. Um, which is okay thinking. If I really have to go back in time, I'll probably prefer looking at a blueprint of some factual things that take place and understand the emotions behind it, understand the critical thinking behind it, understand, okay, and why again, why why we don't want to do it this way, we want to do it this way. You know, just ask the tough questions. Uh, even though some of the questions could sound stupid, you know, still ask it. Just to have that confidence to ask stupid questions. And because you're trying to understand to make a better decision in today's world. I'm calling on myself and men around the world just to be accountable, be responsible take lead on what's best for you you know because I feel that what what's running through my mind is like I never been in the army so I never really been in the army so I mean I probably want to use an example that I'm more familiar with but let me just do go with the army like you know if you you serve for the country and everything else it's like I'm pretty sure you have that kind of experience that experience and knowledge that someone wants to like tap into you know um so i'm not going to devalue that soldier experience on protecting his country so there was a lot of things i'm pretty sure there was a lot of things he had to put in work and training to go out there and combat to defend his country so as men and 
and our community and relationships. Let's call upon ourselves not to be the one that's reacting if the woman is um, provoking. You don't react. You know, you you do masculine things, this masculine energy that's out there that say, you know what? I'm gonna remove myself from this for a good minute. And even by you removing yourself and making that masculine decision, a woman, if she's a good woman, she would respect that. And even that would turn her, that would turn her on because you're not engaging in her feminine energy. Or it's really masculine, but excuse my language, but that bitchy, combative, back and forth energy. You know what I mean? You know, if you want to stay in a good argument, let her express herself the best way she can and you just come back with a few words like, are you done? You know, that'll probably piss her off. You know, something that's like a few words is like, what are you doing, you know? So at least she could take the time to like, understand what her, what she was doing. But I'm just using that as an example. I'm just talking vague, you know, but there is an energy out there that's like, it's very uncontrollable. So when it's very uncontrollable on the woman, it's very uncontrollable on the man, it becomes into a physical altercation, domestic violence, and it's like, you know what? I wanna end this person's life on my terms. And then when you end someone's life, it's like, what's next? You gotta face the consequences, then you wanna try to end your life. So we lost two people. We lost her and we lost you. So then it's like, come on. Men, men, it's time to be accountable. You know, I don't think we need a special holiday to say, hey, we need a special month to say, hey, this is a month not to get into no physical altercation. This is a month not to shoot. Like, let's be responsible, you know? So, uh, I'll just take, I'll just leave it on that note. All right, so day two, I think I'm gonna do the same exercise. We had 30 reps. Last month we was at 20 reps. And uh, if you guys made it to the end of this video, just thank you, all right? You guys have a great day. Have a good one.